Today we will show you how to redraw the DT Swiss spline wheel, how to change a spoke or to rebuild an entire wheel. When building up a wheel from scratch, we start by sliding through the spokes into the hub. In this case, we slide through in clockwise direction. When finished on the first side, we can now insert the spokes on the opposite side. It's important to follow the correct spoke pattern at any time. After finishing the spoke tree on the first side, we can turn the hub over and repeat the same steps on this side. It's equally important to follow on this side the correct spoke pattern. Now that we finished the spoke tree, we can align it with the rim. It's important to have enough space for the valve hole. In next step, we can put the nipple onto the nipple driver, move that one through the rim and thread the nipple onto the spoke. Repeat this process on all spokes. Now that we have finished this step, we can put the wheel into the drawing stand and start increasing the spoke tension. After reaching 50% of the maximum spoke tension, we have to de-stress the wheel for the first time. This step must be repeated four to five times before we finish building the wheel. Carry on, drawing the wheel. 
While drawing the wheel, we have to make sure to use the spoke holder. In this case, on the spline rear wheel, we have to use the new arrow spoke holder. It's important to slide down the spoke holder all the way to prevent the spoke from turning. Slide it down all the way. While drawing the wheel, we have to measure the spoke tension regularly on all spokes. Regelmäßig gemessen wird. After drawing the wheel, we have to de-stress the wheel. It's important that spoke tension Radial and lateral runout are stable, so we the Seiten- and Höhenschlag nicht mehr verändern. If the wheel is stable, it is finished. When mounting the wheel into your bike, please take care to follow all safety instructions. We from DT Swiss. Wish you a good ride.